I got it. It's the show that sucks with your host uh, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. <laughs> Dude, back in the day, the day, he wanted to do like two, and like he's like, ah, I'm fat now, so like, he just made more movies. That's my impression of George Lucas. I actually have Haunts as arcade stick right over there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> the Mike Ross was the first fucking black person I've ever seen work uh, at an eSport event. I literally do like the opposite of what you should do on Twitter. <laughs> like this guy, he's streaming what he got for Christmas. What kind of douche? <laughs> <laughs> This, someone just died in Africa from starving, and I'm streaming via the internet. What <laughs> presents I got? With special guests from around the fighting game community. Yeah, like I froze some Kool Aid, and it turned to like it just tasted like Salt Lake. What flavor was it? Was it watermelon? Like purple. Um, okay. Who, who is your favorite player in FGC? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I kind of want to say um. For me, it's probably Eddie Lee, if you guys know. Not Gamer B. <laughs> Not Gamer B. What? Gamer B. Blast. You know, he does have a lot of followers. He's got some, you know, some stuff he's he, he works with, you know. To he's game. doing something right, I guess. Like, something right, yeah. So you got to, like, work that hustle. You know, I'm not really, I don't really have time to do, do all that. I just love playing. I love the scene out here. I love going to tournaments and competing and pushing myself. So that's about all I got. Now for your hosts, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. What's up guys? How are we on? We're on. Our, well, and Hanzo just I... fucking ruined it, but well, Yay video! Woo! I'm glad they can't see me. They can't see you. As I come out of the shadows, whoa! Oh. All right. Well, What's it's up, been guys? it's been twenty five episodes, and yeah. you've been looking see. at the same thing. Oh, whoops! You've been looking at the same thing for the past I don't know how long. I figure it was about time to update it. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we'll, we'll see what we'll happens. See. I I can't actually see you. So, uh, I assume you're nude, uh, <laughs> whatever the stream monsters tell me, but, uh, I'll, I'll try and not flip the camera off or whatever. Try not to. Yeah. yeah I mean, now we have a camera and we gotta be aware of what's going on. Dude, you don't, I wish I was in my snuggie with the camera off. Oh shit. I'm not wearing my hat. Oh man. Uh -oh. Yeah. See, I have Exposed. to wear my hat. See, I'm so used to it. <laughs> I'm so used to it at this point that I, I just wear it whenever I'm on a stream. But yeah, I usually don't wear my hat at 10 p.m. What, you wear hours. it all the time. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep it while I'm in the shower. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm having relations. All right, what happened this weekend? Should we should we start off with Texas Showdown? I don't, if you want. Uh... We can do that, I guess. Okay. Um, Did anything else matter besides Grand Finals? Yeah. Okay. Um, the Texas scene came out, at least for Marvel. I didn't. I don't give a shit about Street Fighter um, in Texas. <laughs> um, the Marvel Texas scene came out uh, in full force for the most part, and they did pretty well from what I could tell. They were playing pretty good and they didn't just auto lose to people they put up a good fight put on a good show made their scene more respectable i thought uh buckethead uh came out of nowhere for some people for me didn't come out of nowhere because i played that guy online all the time and i played him in vanilla even and that guy is always been super good <laughs> like he's always been ridiculous the, guy's he, name, it's, the name sounds familiar He's an old school uh, Marvel Two guy, but oh yeah, I was asking Texas. you if he was the lead guitarist for Guns N' Roses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, he used to play like Felicia, and back when he played Felicia, he was doing like weird frame traps that no one else was doing, and you see his Zero Morgan Doom team, 
and he's doing like weird hit confirms with zero. His Morgan is ridiculous. So I'm really glad he got far. But uh, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> Some of the theory that fighters got popped. Uh, uh, and I think it was like Xian and Justin and Street Fighter, right? I believe that, I was, remember. that was the grand finals or like the storyline as it were. Uh, I believe Justin won both Street Fighter 4 and Cross Tekken. He, oh, really? What's yeah. he use it? Doesn't he use like Chun Li and then somebody else? He uses Chun Elena last time I checked. Oh, yeah, the chainsaw chick, right? No, Elena in Third Strike. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Third Strike guy. God. I know, but she's <laughs> a giant black woman, not the Japanese chainsaw girl from Tekken. Um. But yeah, he took those out, and then he could have won Marvel if he wasn't such a funny duddy. And we can talk about that if you talk about what again. Sorry. Grand finals of Marvel. Are you even listening? Yeah, I am. I'm just like doing like 40 things at one time. Sorry. Oh yeah, I need to do other things. Uh, so here, you... grand finals. And... Oh, sorry. You have to repeat that Skype like. Oh my God. Fucked up. Robot voice. Yeah. Um, if you, <laughs> if you, did you watch grand finals? No. Uh, did. yeah, I did. I rewatched it. Yeah, because oh. I saw everything and I was like, I have to rewatch this, so I did. And it was pretty fucking terrible. Chris Chi, Justin Wong, Grand Finals. Yeah, they're being stupid and pick a random and dumb shit, not playing out their matches. That's it. Much. That's that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I just, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just saw it and I rewatched it, and I just thought like. At least Ultra David cared. I felt yeah. sorry for James Chen because he was like trying to pick it up, you know. Yeah, he and was like, like oh. yeah, he was like, oh, that was really good, and David's like, yeah, that was really good. <laughs> Just like the most sarcastic voice ever. Yeah, yeah, I respect what David did, even though they're like, he should have been professional, dude. If that was me on come today, I would just walked off. I'd be like, I'm not all right. If you he was, think he about, was eating pizza, I think, or something. Yeah. I would just left. Like, literally just left. I probably would have, too. I would have gone and just, like, turned off the Xbox. And, like, just save everybody time. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a blow up. That'd be pretty funny, though. Gone up and just give them the money, just split already. Nah, fuck that. DQ them. Yeah. I know. Just, like, as a tournament organizer, you need to have balls. Like, really big balls. I'm talking huge balls. And you need to be a giant asshole. Because giant asshole dick tournament organizers are the best ones. Like, <laughs> it, you need to be really rigid with your tournament and how you want to portray it. it so. I, yeah, I don't. I, it was, like, so obvious. I don't know why they didn't do anything. They should have just been like, okay, leave both of you. Banned next year. That's what I would have done as a tournament organizer, but obviously they try. They're trying to get the excuses. They're trying to get like the Texas scene back from the grave, basically. And that was their first major since it died, basically. Yeah. Like, the scene like exploded from that Texas showdown that happened, so they want to revive the scene. And I think the best thing they could do to revive the scene is to fuck over <laughs> players not from that scene. I think that's the best way to do it. If, if I think I'm crazy, but I mean, how much respect would you get from your, your own scene for your own tournament? Like, sure, a couple top players don't come out. Fuck them. Like, really, just fuck them. Who cares? Who cares about Justin Wong? Who cares about Justin Wong? Well, especially if it just makes people not want to watch it. Because now, yeah. if you don't have a watchable stream, nobody's going to want to go to your tournament anyway. Yeah. Pretty much. I would take two Paw Monsters coming to my tournament than Justin Wong coming to my tournament any day. Probably, yeah. No offense to Justin, it's just how it is. Well, if he just, like, ruins the game for everybody else, you know? Both yeah. of them. It's just, you know, it's one thing what happened at Final Round with Fnatic and uh, Chris G. It's one thing where it's, like, you know, in... not It wasn't in pools, right? It was, like, top 32 or something like that. Yeah. Like, it's one thing if it happens there, but... If it happens in grand finals, it's like that's the end. That's what yeah. it, 
There's nothing to look forward to. There's nothing to look forward to. That's the end, and that's what everybody is going to remember. Yeah, s say I'm, like, in Europe, and I'm, like, I'm watching this tournament, and I'm, like, whoa, okay, top eight. I'm down with this. I like Marvel. I'm watching the matches. I'm, like, oh, this is pretty hype. This is hype. I like these matches. Let's go. And you get to grand finals, and they split. And it's, like, all right, well, why'd I stay up? There's no finish. You can't just jerk someone off and leave the room. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> you finish them off. I don't know. It was just, it was stupid. And nobody did anything again. So, I know. you know, Mr. Wizard said something like, try that at Evo. Nobody's going to try that at Evo, unfortunately. Well, I get, unfortunately. Uh, my, my problem with that is that all events aren't SRK events. And, but all events do uh, represent the scene, do you know? Because there could be a random League of Legends tournament just in the middle of Kansas, and it's like five people. And if they say the N-word a bunch, I'm sure that's not going to really affect Riot that much. They're going to be like, uh, that's not affiliated with us. Um, so, screw them. But if like any major happens, even if it's not it's just a random major, that just pops up. That represents the whole scene. So you have to be aware of that. Yeah, basically, uh, if you're if the title of your tournament has major at the end, you better like own your shit cuz people are going to take it seriously. Well, not anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel I feel like that at least a little bit. I don't like the community doesn't take itself very seriously. Well, obviously as, not. As as much as people like to preach that we're So serious. what, basically if it's not like an SRK event, it doesn't matter? That's what it's going to come down to at a certain point. Well, especially if stuff keeps going like this. Yeah, and, you know, final round is outside the SRK thing, so that's a big deal. If people just start not going to non-SRK shit, this final round, and I doubt that would ha ever happen, but if it comes to the point where like Capcom's like, okay, SRK can only run tournaments, then that would suck. So you need to behave like an SRK tournament, basically. Or basically, yeah. like it might end up being you have to go to Capcom and get permission to throw yeah. a tournament for them, which the scene is, or all small scenes are just going to die. Because if I have to go to a, like Capcom every time I want to throw like a Lost in Space or something, like they're going to get flooded with people that want to do the same thing. Yep. I don't know. I, I think it'll, everything will be fine. NCR is coming up. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I'll yeah. tell you one thing. Nobody's going to do shit at NCR. Hell no. <laughs> I'll be there with my wiffle ball bat. <laughs> Your wiffle ball bat. I'll just close my laptop sure. and leave. <laughs> Dude, I'll be with you. <laughs> Real rap. To the bar. To the bar. Let's go. <laughs> Pull out a 40 underneath the tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Pull out some Cracker Jacks out of my pocket and just bounce out of there. Cracker Jacks. Shout out to Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks making the world go around. Make it the world go around. Uh, so I think we should, could talk about... Lost in space. Sure, we could talk that about happened. that. Yeah. So I won everything. You got third place in something. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I got you did your job. Place. You did your job. I did my job. Okay, so Virtual Fighter happened. It was like the first NorCal Virtual Fighter tournament in 30 years or something. And uh, we had a good turnout, actually. We had around 10 people for Virtual Fighter, which is super good for Virtual Fighter. I think we had 10 or 8. I think we had 10. Okay. Which is amazing for virtual. That's like a major. So, like, uh, there was some pretty good competition there. And they seemed pretty, you know, uh, really appreciative of having that tournament because I'm sure they don't have many. Well, yeah, and which then, is partly the reason why I threw it. Yeah. Because they don't really have much. Harrison is the reason you guys had a virtual fighter tournament. So everyone, thank Harrison if you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, there was eight people. What? Eight people. 
eight people. Okay. Still good. Still good. It was pretty cool watching some of the matches. I love Wolf. Wolf. Wolf's a beast. Throwing dudes. Straight just every up. time you like land that backbreaker, <laughs> it's just yeah. Ooh. But um. Yeah, that happened. Then KOF, of course. Uh, the Fable always match. the heist hypest grand finals for some reason. Always. Always. Cause like either whoever loses, like everyone's mad. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I just want it to be over. I know that's what everyone. It's wants. like grand finals. Like I don't even want to stream this anymore. I'll just throw it off stream and start the next game. Cause we could run another virtual fighter tournament in the same time grand finals happened. Yeah, it was grand finals took about the same amount of time to run an eight man bracket in virtual fighter, and I'm not joking. That's not a joke. Grand Finals almost matched that. Yep. I was timing it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I did pretty shitty <laughs> in KOF. Uh, I let Hell Pockets beat me so his self-esteem wouldn't be destroyed. <laughs> and then, uh, I lost. <laughs> I lost to Soul Star. And uh, yeah, I played. I played way shitty. Way shitty. I won. I, I played like, pretty good, but that was a game you I, play. Huh? Have you played against another human being in that game? Twice. From Twice. oh yeah, Evo before. in final round, right? Well, no. Well, final round, I played two people, three people, and then before <laughs> final round, I played at Evo. And before that, I played at one Southtown tournament randomly. So I am sort of new to the game, real people wise. But I don't know. I did really bad. <laughs> like I missed. What happened missed... with CJ? He said something about like, "Don't ever tell me to play Hanzo or something." I don't know. He's popping off for some reason. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you suck at KOF. I'm like, all right, I do. <laughs> I can't dispute that. But uh, grand finals was good. All the matches yeah. were pretty decent. Yep. Um. NorCal, always. Street Fighter, we had a draw game. Oh, man. Is Eric mad about that? Was he? Was he? I'm asking him. Well, he would have lost either way. Oh, he was going to lose? Yeah, he was going to lose, so he got a second chance. Oh, wow. I thought I was giving the other no, person. No, no. Hot Rod was up a game. Oh, okay. All right, well, he looked mad when I said play it over. Oh, really? I don't know. He's probably like, God damn it, I have to play another match as Zangief again. Zangief. <laughs> <laughs> he gets like every every match matchup he gets that I stream, it's just the stupidest matches. It's like him versus Dalson. Him <laughs> versus Vega. Him versus anybody who can zone out Zangief. Uh, that's how the brackets go. I don't I don't fix them. Uh, let's see what you, else happened. You ran the tournament for Street Fighter and then you won it, so. Scam bets. So how do you feel by yourself? I feel pretty good. What? Hey man, if Fu Man wasn't in Korea, <laughs> <laughs> if LPN would have showed up, there's no anybody. Cross. Oh yeah, he he tweeted me. Is there SF Cross second? And I just said no. <laughs> it's like wow, hate. Like I'm never gonna stream that game. Yeah, fuck that. Sorry, game. LPN and Capcom. No, no, not sorry, LPN. I'm not sorry. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, Capcom, not yeah. LPN. <laughs> Although I will be streaming it at NCR, so I have no choice. Yeah, no choice. You're forced. I'm forced. CPM. CPM. Uh, Marvel uh, MC took top three. I beat Tommy's troll team. Yay. Finally. Actually, there uh, was a good player there, uh, Track, who's from Fairfield Sack area. I'm not sure. Um, he he put me into losers first round. It was off stream. And uh, I did eliminate him, but he was playing super well that night. So shout outs to Track. T R A C. Uh, that guy's from what, Sack? I believe so. I'm not sure. Because I think he came with X ray, right? Yeah. Well, and KB, so. 
Well, I mean, K beast is obviously closer than X ray, so. I don't know. And I had never seen it's, track before. He's so. from SAC, alright. <laughs> He's from Sack. Maybe he is, and he's just lazy, and he never comes <laughs> out, which is like ninety percent of the fighting game community. So I can I, totally, <laughs> I can totally wrap my brain around that. Patrick. Patrick. He never comes to Starbase. He lives t twenty minutes away. Does he? He lives. He lives like North Oakland or whatever, wherever that is. It's partly why I hate Patrick. Yeah. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, speaking of CPM, Injustice came out. Have you gotten any CPM yet? Dude, I had 600 viewers for like three hours. Dude, Arturo was making bank. Dude, he had like, he had 6, 7k for like 12 hours. <laughs> it was consistent. But yeah, I'm trying to pick it up. It's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. There's a lot of bullshit in the game. Like, it's definitely Marvel. I can definitely see a lot of Marvel in it. Because there's just shit that's just unblockable. <laughs> like, it's just, you just can't get out of here. Oh, you're dead. Like what? Um, well, Green Arrow's super is unblockable. So if you knock someone down, and then you just do it, and they wake up into the unblockable. And then you get a 50% <laughs> or 60% combo what? from that. So you can do a 20% combo, like meterless, basically. Knock them down, do super, get a sixty percent. They're at nine. They're you just did ninety percent to them. I'm and I'm sure people will find like combos into oh, the yeah. arrow, oh, yeah. and just be instant death. Basically, like Cyrax, right? Pretty and Mortal pretty Kombat. Much, it's like Cyrax. They have like eighty percent damage combos. Like after that unblockable reset. Yeah, uh, that's ridiculous. Interactables are fucking ridiculous. There's the Arkham stage. If you knock them into Scarecrow transition. You have an interactable that's unblockable, so you throw it, you hit them with it, you run up, and you just do the pig to them. Jesus. And that's that's around 30-40% of like unblockable damage that you can pretty much guarantee. Some characters can get out of it, but some just can't, and you just do it to them. And that's like a stage thing, right? Yeah, it's a stage thing. Do like all stages have that? No. Some stages are much more balanced, like Aquaman stage is very balanced, I think. Because there's a couple interactables, but they're not broken. And there's no transitions. Transitions are what make unblockables broken. I mean, uh, interactables broken. Because you can transition, and then it's a set uh, place from where you both spawn. So you can have basically preset plans for the interactables. So you can have like specific strategies with that transition to get unblockable damage. Not every stage, but some stages. I don't know. It just sounds like a game I don't want to play. To be honest. It's very, it's unique. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> it's very unique. Uh, it's pretty. I think it's gonna be a good game. I think it's gonna be a broken good game like Marvel. Not as fun. Not as Marvel fun though. The best. <laughs> but it's just like the thing that Marvel has going that no other games have is unblockables and Marvel are just accepted. Marvel and Marvel are sort of hard to set up. Sort of. I say that sort of. You have to have a team for it. So you're sacrificing other things. Yeah. And. Like, I feel like a lot of those teams are front heavy too. That too. So you kind of just snap or take out their character and it kind of just ruins the Because there's no team low player. assist that uh, is like a particularly strong anchor. Maybe Deadpool. I'm forgetting some a low assist. People are gonna say Wesker, but I don't think he's a particularly strong anchor anymore. He's decent, right? He's a decent anchor. He's a much better point character. His reset's really good. His command grab is just stupid. Dude, his, he's the best grappler ever in existence. I think. He's the only grappler who never grapples, but has the best grappler. That makes sense. <laughs> it's just why would you give a one frame command grab to yeah. anybody in a game? That you can spam. I don't get it. But uh, I think Marvel's movement, the fluidity of it, is what because in Injustice, it's it's kind of clunky. Well, yeah, you, you can't, can't cancel dashes, right? Yeah, you can't cancel dashes, so it makes it pretty. Eh. 
but there are characters whose dashes are super fast so it does there's like no recovery like green arrow and grundy have really really fast dashes and so you can you can kind of use that it's just not it's not, it's not like marvel where you just you could do whatever you want basically and i think that's what makes games good when you there's a playground of things you could just do cuz i don't know why they would restrict movement that much well it's just like if Four dashes aren't that great, and that's really the only way you can move around as a lot of characters. Like, instantly, right off the bat, like, zoning is just amazing. Oh, yeah. Zoning is very good in this game. Uh, grapplers are sort of good, just because once they're in, they just wreak havoc. But zoning is definitely annoying as fuck in this game. <laughs> really annoying. Really good, too. I was watching Arturo play, and I was like, geez, I yeah. never want to play against that. Do Deathstroke, you just you knock them away, and you just shoot them. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. <laughs> if they get past it, you do a grenade. That's a high. It's an overhead. And if they don't block it, they're full screen again. And then they got to do it all around. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Do you think they're going to patch it like they did Mortal Kombat? Or... Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I think with every DLC character, they might release a patch. And I think... That would actually be fine. Even though that's a lot, it's going to be like four probably. I think that would be fine. Like four before Evo? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't care. They could release a patch. I think releasing a patch the day of Evo would be the, the hypest shit in the world. <laughs> like well, it's not, even, it's not at Evo, so who cares? Oh, yeah. Who, but I mean, like, just update Street Fighter the day before Evo. <laughs> Just make everything. No, don't do that again. They've done it the last like three times. No, like I'm talking about the day, the day. So <laughs> Cody might win Evo. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy shit. Will happen. <laughs> I make it like drastically different. <laughs> if they did that, it would just be like top 62 all yawns. <laughs> <laughs> all yawns. Just all yawns. I I would I can totally picture that. <laughs> oh no, just right. yes, my plan is complete. My plan. Um, what else? We were supposed to talk about something. We talk about why me. Oh yeah. There's a tournament. Uh oh there's a SoCal guy coming to that randomly. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. So Oh yeah, there's a guy like uh you said like stationed in or somebody said stationed in Petaluma now. That's from Miami, Florida. That that oh. DR Balrog guy. DR Balrog, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he was from Florida. He's from Miami, where uh, the GU guys are from, if you're familiar with that sponsor. Uh, Flocker and all of them. Uh, that's where they're, That's where he's from. He did pretty good at the, the tournament. He, uh, I think he got fourth. Yeah, he got fourth. He knew his stuff. Yeah. He's just dropping some combos. Obviously, when you come to NorCal, expect to lose. When you come to Starbase, expect to lose. Dude. <laughs> Real talk. Especially if Hootie Man's there. Yeah. And Doug, Guardians? The Guardians. The Guardians. I used to be a Guardian. You have to scrounge through like these no-name players that are amazing. And when you first play them, you're like, who the fuck is Hootie Man? It's such a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, oh shit, he's like the best Hana in America. <laughs> and then you just get destroyed. <laughs> Who's Doug? Who I don't know. He's probably who? like the best guy in America. Who's Doug? <laughs> Was the best Fei Long in America. Was. But uh, yeah, Wami Dojo is going to be on I Play Winner uh, this Monday night. Raw? Yes, Monday night after, I'm assuming, SDR. Okay. Um, are we going to have Injustice? <laughs> is that a... I, I don't think so. If you want to throw a side tournament for it, you can see if anybody shows up. All right. Pop Monsters, let's go. Pop Monsters? Yo, I'm so ready for it. Dude, I bet you can get eight people to play that game. I, I totally get eight people. If, he, if we can get, like, 12 or 13 people to play SF Cross Tekken, <laughs> we can get eight people to play Injustice. That was just such a joke tournament. It's like, it was. I got guys, second. we need... <laughs> we have two people for SF Cross Tekken, and then everybody was like... 
I'll join it like at the very last second, and then everybody just joined it. Yeah, but yeah, that's gonna be uh, KB's uh, should be coming. Hopefully, uh, we have SoCal guy coming up. I mean, that Florida guy will be there for Street Fighter. A bunch of people always come for Street Fighter. Uh, Marvel, we had some good players there yet last week. I mean, last tournament. So expect some good things. Um, sh I don't know what else. The camera, the wireless camera worked. <laughs> oh yeah, that was so godlike. That's what I forgot. Uh, I thought I uploaded. I saved a clip of it. I like edited it. I want to upload it. It's like hella goofy. I I wish we could use it more because it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's cool. I'm kind of awkward with it because I just don't know what to do with it. Well, we could have used it more, but you're running brackets too, so it's yeah. kind of a pain in the ass. Um, should we go to questions? There was some. Was there something else? Is that it? I don't know. I don't know. Today was kind of a slow week, I guess. I don't know. We we spent like no time on the the Texas shutout thing, which is like whatever. Everybody kind of got it out of shit. yeah. Fuck who gives shit? Everybody kind of got it out of the system now. If you do that in my hood, I'll stab you. Damn, in your hood? You yeah. live in Windsor. Dude, you don't know. All up in the W. 707, NorCal. Alright, I'll see you with Twitter questions. If you guys have Twitter questions, you can always send them at Hanzo Gonzo or at Harrison SBA. Uh, uh, Drew Red Mage asks Have you ever been offered a pot split? If not, how would you feel about it? Uh, I have been offered a pot split uh, multiple times. I've turned them down every time. Uh, I think besides once, and I didn't even get near top whatever, so I didn't end up doing it. Uh, it was with, oh, well, I won't say, but it was it was just a s silly situation, and I just did it. But I, I but I got no money, so. It didn't matter. It never happened. It, it never happened. Why did I mention it? Um, but yeah, I've been prominent members of the community have asked me to split, and I I said no because I just don't care about money that much, even though I have none. Um, I don't have I don't care about it to the extent that I'd put my personal integrity at stake. I guess I guess that's not as important to some people, but it is to me for whatever reason. So I have not done it. Have you ever done it, Harrison? Uh, who man only splits if I reset the bracket. Damn. Yeah. But it's kind of like, whatever. We usually go 50-50 anyway. But besides that, no, I haven't. <laughs> and then I didn't beat him, so we didn't split. <laughs> he took all the money. Damn. <laughs> we both grown you? No, no, no. Hey, no. He split, beat me. Bro. He beat me. I know. I, like, didn't, hey, I, didn't reset, no, I didn't reset the bracket, so. Oh. Let's split. <laughs> Wolf crone. Uh... But yes, I've never split a bracket. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do you feel tur turning rules should be for injustice? I don't know. No one knows. I feel like interactables should be turned off. But that would kill some of the hype, so just let people go ham for now. Just leave everything on. Just leave everything on until people can test it. Yeah. I mean, there's there's some broken stuff around with interactables. Don't get me wrong. Like, 100% <laughs> combos. It's pretty broken. But that'd be really hyped to see in a tournament so, until it happens, until it becomes a problem. Oh, it'll be hype for everybody else, not for the oh, person man. getting well, I mean. the <laughs> getting comboed on. It's like, God, why do I? No, when someone gets double perfected, why did I enter ten dollars to play this game? When someone gets double perfected in Marvel, I'm getting happy birthday. That's that's hype, not for that guy. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, troll comments. Troll comments. 
Ultra David's mad at me for using this picture, I think. Oh, yeah, I saw that when I tweeted. <laughs> uh, this show sucks. Shout out to Lethro from Ireland. Uh, that's all the questions I got that aren't troll questions. Oh, damn. I can read some of the troll questions. Venom Wenzel asks, Chris G is an ignorant man-child, A. B, a disrespectful scumbag. C, a fucking idiot. D, all of the above. Uh, I was like, this is going to be question. hard, and then they threw in the D, all of the above in there. And that's made it too easy. Question. That's kind of a loaded question. He's just stupid. He's being stupid. Yep. That's, I'm, he's just being stupid. He should stop being stupid. It's really not that hard. But it is for a lot of people, apparently. <laughs> just stop it. I mean, it's, like, it's really hard to just not be stupid. You know, like when you when you're trying to get out of bed, and sometimes you're like, oh, I just want to stay in bed because it's so comfy. Sometimes you just gotta get out. Just get out of the bed. Just stop it. Does that make sense? I know it's yes, it definitely does. Because lots of times I don't want to get out of bed. But sometimes I have to pick you up in Windsor to drive you to Austin Space, then I gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Whatever. Oh, hey, they can see me. Hold on. Yeah, they can see you now. <laughs> what, was that, what was that like? Ah, uh, jeez. I'm gonna have too much fun with this. Do you have any questions? I don't have any questions. I uh, like actually, I have one from a while ago, I think. I think somebody asked, like, who is Bob from Starbase or something. When's Bob? That's just a troll question. No, no, no. It was like, this was like a couple weeks ago. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I have to find it. It was like something. Uh, well, if you don't know who Bob is, Bob is the owner of uh, Starbase Arcade. Yeah. I'm pretty sure... I don't know how long Starbase has been open, but it's been open for at least 30 years, 30 or 35 years, because it's the one of one of I know it's under five arcades that have been open for that long in America. So it's kind of like a I don't know. I feel like it's important to keep it open. Very important. I, it's I, I consider it a landmark at this point. It's been there for so long. And it's one of the last arcades in America. So it's one of the seven wonders of the world when it comes to arcades. Oh That's yeah, definitely. Sure. I mean, there's stuff in there that you that is literally you cannot find anywhere else in the world. Like Bob was showing us, fucking Moonwalker, not Moonwalker for Sega Genesis, Moonwalker for arcade, an original Moonwalker arcade board. I didn't know that game existed for arcade. Apparently, it does. Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, I didn't get yeah. a chance to play it, but it's I've never the arcade seen is that just game full before. of that stuff. Yeah, it, there's just things in there that it, that don't, don't exist elsewhere. Uh, but yeah, come down if you're ever in the area. He's a cool dude. Yeah. I'm sure if you say, "Hey, I'm here from somewhere," he'll throw you a couple quarters and you can play some free games. Yeah, because he's that nice of a guy. Mention my name, he'll throw you out. No, <laughs> I bet he'll be like, "Who is Carter?" Who is, <laughs> who is that guy? Uh, Shalu HQ asks, who is the most rushed down character in Injustice? That would be Doomsday, Doomsday, Nightwing, and, oh, excuse me. Um, Doomsday, Nightwing, <sighs> I'm trying to think of all the characters. I think that's that's your best bet for now. Catwoman. Catwoman definitely. Most rushed down? Why? Flash. Oh yeah, Flash is crazy. Dude, Flash is ridiculous. Cause he he puts you in slow mode like Amy, right? Yeah. But he he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. So like he's crossing you up and if you whiff a move, that move is so fucking slow, he just does whatever. He gets a custom combo on you and does like so much damage. Does he have a does he have a teleport or does he just run really quickly? Like when he does that teleport? What I don't know, it's like he just runs really fast somewhere. Oh, I don't know. 
I didn't get the chance to play with him. Oh, okay. I know a few characters have teleports that I didn't. Like, Raven has a teleport for some reason. And uh, Ares' teleport is ridiculous. But I don't know how good of a character he is. I want to try out Killer Frost. Frost. Because no one else is trying her out. I'd have to look at the characters. I don't know, I just... I like some of those characters, but the way they look in the game, I just they just don't really look yeah. appealing, to be if honest. Holly, if Harley Quinn had her old costume as the fall, I'd be like, yo. <laughs> I'm in there, Harley. Harley's like my favorite DC character, so. But she looks like weird, and I don't like her voice, so. Alright, was that all the questions we have for that? Huh? Mm, wait, now I'm getting got more. Okay, good. Because we have no questions on YouTube. How do you get motivated to get out of bed? Um, <laughs> that's what Lee Church says. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. It's a very good question. Why do I get up? Why do you get up in the morning? <laughs> that's a good question to not only answer for other people, but to ask yourself. Should why just... do you why do you bother getting up in the morning? Cause I feel like you could save this show at least on Tuesdays. I, f I feel like <laughs> I feel like sometimes uh, I make the world a better place by existing. Maybe if I didn't, I'd probably just kill myself. I don't know. You feel like you make the world a better place? A little bit. Just like be like by like even if I'm outside and someone thinks I'm really shitty, by me being shitty, they think other people are cool, so cooler. So if like some chick's like, oh that fucking... hey, you, you you provide some comic relief. That too, I guess. People women walk by me and just ha hey. <laughs> 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 Look at that thing. Oh my god, everybody's asking about my hat. Oh, what's wrong with I can't see it. Oh, I'm not wearing it. That's the thing. Oh, where your hat? Oh, fucking hold on. Oh, I don't... Alright, there we go. Why do you get out of bed, Harrison? What? Why do you get out of bed? To put on your hat? To get... Yeah, to put on my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I get out. Of, I get out of bed. I'm like, damn! I make this hat look good. I have to. I have to wear it. I do the Giants a favor by wearing this hat. <laughs> they, should, they should pay you. I'm I walk gosh. around San Francisco. You see all those people wearing that hat. It's because of me. Yeah. Um. All right. Why do I get out of bed? I don't know. I like. I like streaming. I guess. I think it's fun. Like this. If I didn't think this was fun, I wouldn't be doing this right now. Yeah. Let's be real here. It's not like I'm saving up for a mansion. I am, but... Well, I guess everybody could be saving up for a mansion if they wanted to. Very small they just, mansion. They just, yeah, very small mansion, like a cottage. A thousand square feet. <laughs> a thousand square feet mansion, you know, just for myself. You can hike out in the middle of the woods and call it a mansion. Just build a house there. Nobody yeah, else is going to kick you just out. Just build a house. Just build a house somewhere. Idiot. Who cares? <laughs> um, okay, David Spooky asks, does Starbase have the Fist of the North Star machine? The one where you punch targets? A, that sounds amazing. B, no it doesn't, because I would know. You punch the screen? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. That'd be cool. I don't know. To be honest, I haven't like sat there, had a chance to sit there and like go and play video games <laughs> that, oh, of I, I, that often. I peep them all. I, I know pretty much everything that's in the arcade, for the most part. Barring any new... They got a new X-Men pinball machine. Oh, yeah, like, it's super sick. Yeah. KB's like, is like, getting owned by yeah, Wolverine. Yeah, KB's, <laughs> KB's got bodied by... Uh, he got bodied by Wolverine, actually. Wolverine Berserker slashed him hella. <laughs> like, he lost all his balls. He's like, ah. And, like, Magneto's there disrupting people. It's pretty sick. Uh... Colossus is in it. But yeah. If you, uh, that arcade kind of fluctuates with games. Oh, yeah. It used to things. have, like, um, what's that time 
that shooter. It's like Time something. Time Crisis? Time Crisis, yeah. They used to have that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But that's I gone. They took that out because they have two other shooty games. Uh, Area, I think it's Area 51, I think. And then there's Is another it? one I'm not sure of. I think they've had Area 51 for a while now. Yeah, that's a classic, though. I think I'd rather have Time Crisis then. Uh, you can have Time Crisis on PlayStation 2, because I have it on PlayStation 2. Who has it on PlayStation 2? I do, and I have a gun. Well, aren't you special? No, I'm not. It was way overpriced. Not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> they have Gauntlet there, too. The four-player yeah. Gauntlet, which is amazing. That game is awesome. The N64 version is, like, one of the best games ever. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, Phantom Weasel asks, do you think Injustice will be played outside the MK community after initial hype dies down? No. I do not. I think they're going to... I think the MK community is going to grow a lot, but it'll still stay in the MK community, which is fine. I think... I think if Injustice was at Evo, they'd get around four or 500 people, which is really good. Well, it just came out. Yeah, I know. So you have but... that. And then it's it's one of those games, it's kind of like Mortal Kombat, where uh, it appeals to that casual party kind of guy. Yeah. It's, it's going to be around. It's going to be supported by the company because the company just makes loads of money off of it because they sell really well. Because of story mode and the uh, brand, and uh, the community has been playing MK9 for what three years now. So, yeah, but that game is—I think we can all agree that game is shitty. Am I, <laughs> am I stepping on anyone's toes? By I think it was—it was fun until they patched it the a million just times, warped it. It's, I don't like it. I don't like MK. But they've been playing that for three years, so they're very dedicated. They'll play whatever. And Injustice, I think, is actually a pretty good game, comparative to Mortal Kombat. So I think it has some legs in the community. And you know, Warner Brothers might throw a tournament. So if you're, I thought not, they are, or I, it's I, like I'm a rumored sure, or something. I'm pretty sure it's like nothing but confirmed. But I'm pretty sure it's happening. I mean, everything but confirmed. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> That's why I woke up this morning. <laughs> Correct you. <laughs> Correct me. My atrocious grammar. But yeah, it'll be played. If you're worried about that, just buy the game. What is a must-have for your mansion? Uh, what, like electricity? <laughs> electricity. I'm assuming we already have everything that we need to live. Snapple? Is that? The, please don't tell me that's the Snapple from Sunday. <laughs> Is that the Snapple from Sunday? Oh my god. <laughs> there was a Snapple there that was just that was just left there. It was unopened, and we go to leave, and he just like drops it out of the car, so it survives that fall, and now he is drinking it. Two days later, I opened it yesterday. I didn't finish it. <laughs> I someone left a star, a snapple there, the pop. Okay, so please tell me the pop was there. No, the pop. That didn't happen when I when I got it, so I opened it because it's pressure shield. Thanks, Snapple, for enabling this because I wouldn't have known. Uh, the Snapple fact is, Oregon has more ghost towns than any other U.S. state. Oregon makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. There's a lot of forest out there. And a There's a lot of very... possibilities where you can murder people and just leave them out in the woods. And it's a very bad state. If you live there, I'm sorry. Hey, Eugene is amazing. Other than that, I will pass. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Portland all the time. It's sick. <laughs> Super hipster. Oh, yeah. Hella hipster. Love it. Uh, just, well, whatever. But yeah, it is a snapple. Um, what's going to be in our mansion? Uh, Fios. <laughs> <laughs> that was like one of the last things I was thinking of, but alright. Dude, Fios. <laughs> I need that. Uh, if you bought a mansion, who would you avoid living next to in the FGC? Everybody. <laughs> Every Everyone. Everyone in the fighting game community. 
That's not a bad answer. Um, I would not. I don't know who's the least loud. <laughs> who's the least loud? Yeah, because that's all I care about. Roger Dodger. What? Hey, he's not that. He's pretty quiet. Well, I guess he's playing WoW. He's <laughs> 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 not making much noise. <laughs> Who has hot siblings? I'm only child, so it's all you, bro. I don't know who has hot siblings. Because I'd live next to them. Because when they come visit. <laughs> I'm so glad we have video now. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I didn't give a shit who I live next to. As long as they're quiet. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Esteban it's a mansion. Asks, I'm not going to live anywhere. So. While we're on arcades, what game is your guilty pleasure? What do I love playing in arcades? That might be considered bad, I guess. I think Hydro Thunder is really hype. Hydro Thunder? Yeah, I think it's really hype. Too bad really, it's like really a hype. dollar to play. Huh? It's like hell expensive. Yeah, it's like a dollar, but it's like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I like that snowmobile game where you kick people. Yeah. That game's, I know they're not that good, but I think they're super hype for no reason. I you... ticker just goes from like a hundred to like three hundred miles an hour for no reason. You're like, oh shit. I don't know. I like playing uh those like those shooters where you control like an airplane. It's like the top view. Oh, Raiden. Yeah, like like games like that. Uh, uh, oh. 1942. I will spend countless quarters on those games for sure. Uh, there's one at Starbase. There's a, a Japanese Raiden. I think it was in one of the cabinets, but it hasn't... I don't know if it's in use right now. Yeah, it is. It was? Oh, I, I didn't it. see it. Well, I have, like, it's, no time. Yeah, it's it was way to the left. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I love those games. Yeah, Raiden is my shit. I used to... That was, like, the first game I seriously played on PC. We had a Raiden. I can't remember which one it was, but we had it. And uh, I played the shit out of it. It had a carrot... It had a carrot ship and shoot carrots. That's all I remember from it. Like, the levels were ridiculous. It was like an RPG. It was, it was ridiculous. I guess like an RPG type game there too. At Starbase. What? I can't remember, but you can like collect items and shit. It's like really crazy. It's like really in depth for an arcade game. Anyways. Whatever. Uh, do we have any YouTube questions? Nope. I could read the comments, but the uh. I remember one comment was like, I think someone insulted me. Uh, somebody's like, question, fuck Hanzo Gonzo, that is all. P.S. I love you, bro. That's by <laughs> Tom Nook. Yo, Tom. <laughs> that guy is crazy. <laughs> I love that guy. I'm glad I still listen. I think he like posted. Those. That's one of the guys that's posted in the very first video that we put up. Yeah. Uh, monster. He's just he's just fucking insane. I love him. Oh yeah, and then somebody said Cross Counter Asia did a preview of Daigo's book. We were talking oh, yeah. yesterday, or I'm sorry, last week about Daigo's book and if there was a translation for it. So go and check out Cross Counter Asia if you guys want to check out Daigo's book. Sweet. Guess uh, a preview at least. Oh yeah, I sent in my uh changes for Cody. How'd that go over? It was alright. It was pretty it was basically like the only thing that I thought of on the spot which I thought would be kinda interesting was making back medium punch actually hit opponents when they're crouching and make them stand. Oh. So as opposed to um I don't know how you would do that without making that normal absolutely ridiculously <laughs> overpowered because there would just be Cody would just be a red hitbox. It would be like the foot dive of Street Fighter. Because it's already super good. But yeah. I, I feel like he needs a way to make people stand without having that two like two one frame links. I feel like. Hold on, I unplugged my mic. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> I unplugged my headset. So, what did you just say? 
He needs oh a way God. to force someone to stand. Yeah, he, he needs another way, like an easier way. What and about making Ford medium punch make him standing? That'd be just, I don't know, that'd be really weird. Because, like, I don't know, that would just be really random. I don't know why you, that would do that. I well, it's a move that, I don't know. Don't listen. I don't know. That would just be really weird. I don't know why that move would do that. But I'd rather have back medium punch do it. Just because sometimes when I'm close, I try to do stand medium punch, and I accidentally am pressing back as well. And I just don't do a combo. But that's mostly just me being stupid. Any more questions? We are dudes because we're white. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that tweet. We are dudes. Last time I checked, you're a dude because you're white, Hanzo Gonzo. Shit. And I want to say that's the end of the show. Yeah, it's up to you. I don't care anymore. Well, if you have no questions, then. Well, there's hair in my water, Harrison. That's why I'm drinking the Snapple. And I can't get over it. <laughs> that's why you're drinking the two day old Snapple. It's still good. You it could be drinking DR Balrog Snapple right now. Is it his Snapple? I don't know. It could be. It could be. This guy came all the way from Miami, and you're drinking this fucking Snapple. Thank you very much. What a scumbag. He left it there. Uh, I just can't get over it. Uh, yeah. Um, if you guys enjoy this podcast, you can always check out the other podcasts on Round Tuesday, 7 p.m. We start with twitch.tv slash... Keats, uh, Wake Up at Arcade with Keats and Ski Sonic. They had some guy who I called Scrub on today, and then he called me an asshole or something. <laughs> Wasn't Seth LOLOL was on? No, it was Renegade. He wrote an article about Wesker not being top tier back in the day, and I was like, he's still really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. He's still going to be good, and I still think he's very good. But he's like, nah, he sucks. I'm like, alright. Um, and then Ultra Chen. Uh, if you guys didn't ch check tonight's, uh, watch tonight's Ultra Chen, I definitely recommend it because they had Tom Cannon on. And he, of course, uh, co-founded SRK and runs uh, Evo. And he was talking about uh, how he runs Evo, the rule sets, and... Uh, then he was talking about his game he's making. He's making a game that sounds actually really cool. It's a RPG slash like base building shit. I don't know. It looks weird and cool. I think it looks kind of cool. But they're having a Kickstarter soon, so if you guys are interested, yes. look out for that. More, more Kickstarters. More Kickstarters. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. And then uh, we have Cross Counter TV, which. It's they, not on YouTube anymore. I guess it's not on YouTube anymore. Like, I, I was confused because the YouTube wasn't showing up, but I don't know. I guess it's on twitch.tv slash the stream TV. I guess. Just follow Gutex. <laughs> Just ask He'll Gutex, what the fuck? Where is Cross Counter? If you um, want to watch it. And then you have us. The show that sucks. Hanzo, Gonzo, and Harrison. If you like to follow us, you can follow me at Hanzo, Gonzo, Harrison, at Harrison SBS, SBA. Follow. <laughs> <laughs> you did it right. Congratulations. I, I almost messed up the A. Um, you can follow at iPlayWinner, and you can follow our channel, twitch.tv slash iPlayWinner. Yeah, make sure you hit the follow button if you guys haven't, if you're watching right now. Uh, did you guys enjoy a video? Please comment or type in chat right now if you guys just like leave it. a just leave a comment in the youtube yeah uh we'll get to it uh my computer if you guys are wondering my computer is that way my monitor my other monitor is this way but it's not on that's the one i'm looking at hence why i sometimes do that so be be aware of that i try and look into the camera as much as possible i haven't but looked into it at all this entire episode so oh uh, well you're doing the radio Radio yeah, show? just <laughs> I'm just like whatever. Yeah. It's video. I try to do it for my stream. They can just... see the the right half of my stash. That's all they need. 
<laughs> the right half of his sash. All right, I'm going to sink into the shadows. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.